It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it tomorrow too. Uh, are you good if we keep rolling? All right. Hi, I'm Ty. Hey, drink your water. Drink your water. Oh, okay, thank uh, you. <laughs> let's move, let's move it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah, it's great. I've been loving the whole whole conference. Uh, it's condensation, but yeah. a wet handshake. Yeah. Cool. What's your name? Uh, Chris. Chris. My name's Ty. It's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, this chair sucks. <laughs> 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 the nicest way possible. For real, this is a super upgrade. I highly recommend it. <laughs> okay. Um, got it. Got it. Are we good? <laughs> Chris, uh, what brought you here today? Uh, I've just got more and more interested in politics uh, since. Is there a particular po uh, policy or an issue that's really motivating to you? <sighs> For one, I think like Medicare for all is a big one, but Medicare also foreign for policy is huge. It's Which is the more important one? It's hard to say. I mean, I think Medicare for all maybe is more personally important. So you could like vote for a candidate that will, for a fact, do one, but not the other. Medicare for all or fix it, a foreign policy. Yeah, issue. it would probably be. I mean, it would be more the uh, Medicare for all. I think. Okay, and okay. maybe that's selfish of me. You know, no, because I love selfishness. It's totally because <laughs> we all benefit. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like benefiting from things. Yeah. So Medicare for all. Um, that is basically like we all pay into a program. And we can all reduce our hospital costs, health costs. Yeah, or, yeah. How much we're you, paying, you know, per person for, uh, you know, our health care, and also kind of taking away that. I think what really, what really motivates me too is just being taking away that fear mm. of, oh no, I can't like pay for this medical bill, or oh no, I got sick. Should I go to the hospital because sure. it's going to cost X amount? Why is that important to you? I mean, I think there's a couple reasons. I think personally, you know, I've, I've had my share of health issues. My mother has had her, you know, she, uh, she's had breast cancer a couple times. Sure. Um, but also just when I look at the country as a whole, I think it would, you know, reducing that level of stress that that not having health care yeah, or like I have a cavity cost. or I yeah, have yeah. Um, surgery that I need to. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot of stress culturally. Yeah. And like. It puts a, a tier system on. These guys can go to the doctors. We can't. Yeah. I was like, oh, I just went to the dentist today. So, oh, you can afford the dentist. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I, I hear that. Yeah, that's I definitely. lose my job. I lose my access to. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that just actually, um, I didn't lose my job, but I left my, uh, my mom works for the state okay. of North Carolina. Sure. And I was, you know, on her state health plan, which is great. Yeah. And then I, I switched over. I'm an independent. I'm a writer. Look and at you. I, yeah. Nice, nice. And I'm an independent contractor. You look contractor. like a writer. I got my uh, thing here. You have the... I was like, is this like two you, on the nose? No, I'm not trying to brand myself or anything. as a writer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, what kind of writing do you do? Um, so what I what I do right now is like digital marketing. But okay. then in my free time, I write... I like to write nonfiction and fiction as well. I'm digging... So I can tell you what I'm digging into if, if you want to nerd out about this real quick. Yeah, sure. Uh, fictionalized history. So okay, like cool. basically like things that actually happen but told from the perspective as if a guy was actually there and making mm. it sort of dramatic, like yeah, soap yeah, yeah. opery. Yeah, There's yeah, a guy yeah. named Dan Jones who's done the entire medieval king history I've heard of kings. Him. Yeah, yeah. He's really good because it's basically Game of Thrones, but real history. Yeah. But told with the same pizzazz and like, oh, this guy's cutting his back. This guy, <laughs> you shouldn't have said it to him. He's going to come back in four chapters. And yeah. it totally does. And then you look at history book, it's like, this actually happened. Yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. The Assassin's Creed cool. games are also really oh, good. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Just fictionalized history. At the oh, no, I play them, yeah. You play them too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, 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 great. Is yeah. that your jam or is that not, um, not even close? I mean, no, I like reading that sort of yeah. stuff, but writing that, it's not as much... What I, I'm, I'm more present day or going a little bit, you know, putting a little twist on the present. Sure. More than, you know, it could be laziness, you know, <laughs> going back and doing all the research required. But So why go through the trouble of, like, on an individual level, why should I pay okay. for someone else to get good health care? If I have, say I have a good job. Yeah. I can afford my own health care. I worked hard to get my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should just keep my money to pay for myself. Yeah. I think that's, What benefit do I have paying... A family of 17, or some lady... <laughs> You're sounding like one of my conservative <laughs> friends right now. I'm, try, I'm, I'm, I'm gracefully... Tr I don't think conservative... I think it's just like a pigeonholed version of like a guy. Yeah, yeah. But like, say I was like, 
I don't want this school bus family <laughs> yeah. to keep expanding and taking more of my money when I'd rather have better roads and stuff like that. Yeah, like if they want good jobs to, where they can pay for healthcare, just work, go to school and, and yeah. do the same thing I did. Why not just have that? Uh, that's a lot. Um, and that's not necessarily my point of view, obviously. But yeah, I'm just yeah. Like, no, I understand. Why not just say, hey, fend yeah. for yourselves. Free country. I mean, I understand the intuition. I mean, I was a you know, Republican family. Uh, Went through a brief libertarian phrase when I was 18. Um, <laughs> okay. Voted for Gary Johnson and then oh, was look like, at you. Yeah, then I was like, I was, Bye, vote. It was my uh, <laughs> close, it was my, I was, you know, flirting with liberalism, but I couldn't, you know, fully turn my back on my, you were the my whole family. <laughs> right, right. Um, now I'm close to socialist, but. Uh, what do you? Okay, okay. Yeah, but anyways, well, that, that's whole. What's my onus? It does not benefit me as far as I can see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. To take money out of my paycheck so that you can. I think it actually does, though. I think if you look at it from a from a cultural and just from a perspective of the entire country, yeah. when you have people who can, you know, go into poverty because of their medical debts, even if you don't think that directly affects you, mm -hmm. it does because then we have to pay more. And I mean, unless we're living in a libertarian utopia where we've cut all social spending, mm -hmm. you know, when people are. When they can't afford their private insurance, sure. they are going on the you know Medicare, which would be uh, you know increase the cost of the government. Of course, I am advocating for something that would raise the cost of government, but you know poverty as well you know produces things like crime that would make you unsafe. It benefits um, me not to be around or yeah. to generate poverty. Exactly, and. Another thing is, and going off of that as well, if you say you own a small business, say you're someone who wants to see more customers, if people are paying exorbitant costs for medical debt, they aren't going to be at your store. They're uh, not going to be putting money an into the community. I didn't know about. That's a, that's an interesting angle. It's like it's more money that could be liquid in the exactly. in the environment. Exactly. If it's not being spent to pay medical debts that exactly. are already outrageously higher than a they need exactly, to be. Exactly. Yeah. And that's that's a new angle. I didn't know. Yeah, like I knew the one the thing you said before, like it helps to reduce poverty. That would be like my bread and butter response yeah, to that. Yeah. But the whole idea of like you would have more money if you weren't spending your medical debts exactly. to go to my store. If I'm a mom and pop shop, that's I feel like there's a lot of validity to that. I, I think yeah. I mean, th I mean that's how I would maybe argue with with conservatives. Yeah, because or people who are more maybe centrist and maybe yeah. want like a. You know, they're okay with Medicare, but they don't want the whole thing to go private. And sure. it's so what's what's the best what's the best argument from the opposition? Um I'm trying to let me think about that. Um I think what's the most credible best argument that you that you know I, from the opposition? I think maybe the best argument yeah. would be um would be more on the side of Hey, this might make things more inefficient. You're not going to get your health care as quickly. Um, I don't think it really, I don't think there's a lot of validity to the rest of that argument. What about like, hey, uh, you're using Japan's and Sweden's system. Mm. They only got 17 million and nine people, nine million people respectively. We have 365 million people and an already yeah. an ingrained infrastructure. <laughs> we can't just do that overnight. We can't do it in a decade. Yeah, yeah. We're stuck kind of just trying to slowly optimize the system as it is now. It's not. Is it worth the financial investment at this point yeah. to to radically change something that's never been tested on this scale in the first place? I, I mean, I think uh, before you ever go into a large scale system, you yeah. generally test things on a smaller scale, right? Sure. So, if you see it works, hey, it works in Sweden. Works hey, in Rhode it, Island. It works, huh? Works in Rhode Island. Yeah, works in Rhode Island. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, works in uh, Canada, uh, where ah. my, you know, my grandparents are from there. Um, even though there are higher waiting lines, you have to look at other factors, you know? Even if you have a longer time to go see a doctor, sure. what are the other significant factors there? And I think we see success rates in terms of, like, longevity. Uh, longevity? I can't say the word. Longevity? Longevity, yeah. It's like, yeah, longevity um, in terms of, like... Longevity? Longevity. There oh, we go. I'm I didn't a, know what you were saying. I have my master's in English, and I can't okay, speak. Okay, okay. It's like... <laughs> um, in terms of, like, the... Your lifespan is going sure. to be longer. Yeah. You're, you know, you're not going to have medical debt, so there's none of that there. There's a, in terms of like how much disease people typically have in these countries is like, and maybe I'm getting, uh, maybe I'm no, going no, no. farther. Yeah, I'm thinking of an argument that's more of like 
taking the argument they've given me, and these again aren't my arguments, but yeah, like yeah. trying to push it to the corner to say, no, but this is a bigger problem. Like, yeah, yeah, we can do all this Medicare stuff, but yeah. people are oh, still yeah. going to smoke. I completely, yeah. People are still smoking. Oh, yeah. Like, shouldn't we, shouldn't we take that money investment and stop people okay. from smoking poison? Because that's driving up our poverty. That's driving I mean, up I our think, medical expenses. Yeah. That's driving up our death rates. Like, take, give. Yeah. We can do both. I, I think we can do both. But I think when you attack, I mean, granted, you know, something like the example like smoking would be one that is a uh, proactive position rather than a reactive one in terms of health care, which I actually do agree with. You know, I want there to be proactive health care programs. Proactive health care programs. Yeah, where you're looking at preventing disease before it even happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I do think that by focusing only on those things, you're you're losing out on a system that is, you know, that produces things like stress, produces, you know, a system where people who have money can get better health care than those who don't, which I think is has some ethical issues there. You're not addressing that. You're not addressing the financial, you know, aspects of medicine. Yeah. Of, that affects everyone. Yeah. So I think if you only focus on that, you're missing out on, you know, on a whole other, on a system that is just not, it works for some, it works for a lot of people, but it's still, I think the people who get left out of the system mm -hmm. and the people who get harmed by it, you know, I don't think we can just ignore that, I think. And that's, So here's my outsider perspective on this. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I really yeah. do. We have, uh, elephant in the room. Yeah, sure. Big money, yeah. lobbying. There's an invested oh. <laughs> option. There's an invested group of people oh, who yeah. are like, I don't want that rule to happen. Oh yeah, because that would res that would destroy our bottom line. We have shareholders, and that would destroy our company. Everything we work for is gone. All of our yeah. kids won't be able to afford anything. They would go from Grey Poupon off gold dishes to Grey Poupon off plastic. Yeah. Not in my what's, family. What's happening? No. Here? What's yeah. our legacy here? This no. is oppression. This <laughs> is oppression of the upper class. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> but I'm thinking like I mean I feel for practically those practically not for those people but for the employees I feel them. for yeah. everybody to be honest yeah, yeah, with you honestly, but not, yeah. not equally but I yeah. do feel for everybody to an extent my politics is more of a punching up but I still think that we you know there is a level of compassion that is needed yeah so I'm wondering like is the level of compassion that I'm extending to you worth causing yeah. the harm that I'm about to cause and that's yeah is it is it useful harm or needless harm right oh right. that's interesting and yeah. I'm fine with that I like that concept yeah so I'm thinking like uh we agree that this needs to be done. Yes. Practically, we know that there are opposition. Oh, yeah. I know it's going to be a hard battle. So how, what's the road forward? Yeah, I mean, you know, in the U.S. elections this year, I mean, I think, you know, voting Bernie, voting, um, you know, if Warren would come out and be a little more, a little less, you know, wishy-washy with Medicare for all. I I'm mean, going to say something really silly right now. I have no idea who's winning the political or who who's really in the Democratic oh. thing right now. I know Bernie's rerunning and Biden is rerunning. Yeah, and so I'd say don't vote Biden. <laughs> if that's your, if that's your, <laughs> I'm going to look into the camera and say, if you want Medicare for all, do not vote Biden. <laughs> okay, okay. And then uh, Warren is a lady? Yeah, yeah. Warren Elizabeth is a lady. Warren, yeah. Okay, okay. And yeah, progressive. Um, She's often lumped in with Sanders on the left. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, I, I like Elizabeth Warren. She's my second choice. But I think if you want to be sure of fixing this Medicare for all problem. Yeah. Or, I mean, not, not the Medicare for all's problem, but getting it into policy. I think electing someone like Sanders is the main, you know, the, the most immediate. The best option? The most, yeah, the best option. To and start the most, momentum towards. Exactly. But I think we have more momentum, too. You know, If it was a Republican who's like, everything in my party plus Medicare for all. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I would, would vote for them. You, okay, so there are... You're it's, not a I'm, one not, I'm not a one, one policy voter. I mean, I mean, if it was... Like, I can guarantee you it will be Medicare for all plus eight more years of a Trump-ish like... For, yeah, I mean, I would have to look at their other policy positions, you know. Yeah. Um, sure, sure, sure. I wouldn't... I mean, I would have to look at them as a whole I um, and compare them against the other Dems running. That's good. That yeah. tells me more about you in general because it sounds like you're not really a pro Bernie. You're pro you. Yeah. And you have a criteria yeah. that 
you know, lines up well with whatever Bernie's saying. But if he stops saying that, you'd be yeah, like, yeah, no, I would. Bye, Bernie. I would, yeah, I would. Who be else is here? Him. Yeah. Oh, you? What else do you have? Because I need to look through your entire portfolio. Exactly. Yeah. I come to and that's what's been really disappointing to me. This this election has been like, you know, Tulsi Gabbard recently came out against Medicare for all. You know, going. I have no idea. Yeah. But so the lady. Yeah, yeah, lady. Did something uh, bad. She was. She was in the progressive. I mean, she still is a progressive. Is she a politician? Politician. Yeah, is out she, of um, Hawaii. Oh. Um, she served in the military. I like. Her her foreign foreign policy is better than a lot uh, of people. Um, she's less interventionist when compared to you know Hillary Clinton, <laughs> you know someone like that. Mm. And but she recently you know went off of Medicare for all, sure. and that bothers me. And I think what when I see someone who has been for Medicare for all switch over to something like a uh, public option, yes, that yeah that. To me, yes, bothers me. Yeah, as yeah. a as a voter, no, yeah, because it signals I that you're not you you're not voting on your. I mean, you're not advocating your principles. Not only that, but it strikes me as like, oh, big money got another one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. and that's. I mean, by the way, Tulsi is not a Russian. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying uh, that. I'm not like saying Hillary that. recently I'm not said, that. but uh, so the main thing that we do here yeah. is ask what the person believes, see if they're reasonable yeah. about what they believe. You have a claim that you're supporting with evidence. You seem reasonable about it. You change your mind if yeah. the criteria was, if yeah, yeah. the reality situation changed. I like it. Cool. I learned from talking to you. I appreciate it. Do you it. mind if we Thanks did? so much. Do you have like a weird five minute talk? Yeah. Could, could you do five more minutes on something yeah, like? Yeah, sure, sure. Do you have like a weird, I don't have, do you have like a weird conspiracy thing? Weird <laughs> conspiracy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Man. We were speaking to a conspiracy guy a while back ago. I was just wondering, like, I don't know. I mean, those are the fun times. I too. was really big into them in high school. I was a uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What's the coolest conspiracy? You, it's cool if you don't believe in it oh, anymore. Man. But do you have like a conspiracy? I was really like, religious growing I'm up. Totally. So, about, okay, okay. Um, you're not religious anymore. No, no. We're on the same I'm page. A, we're on the same I'm page. A, yeah, I would say I'm an atheist. I mean, it kind of hurts me to say it because I grew up in a smaller subculture. Oh, uh, Seventh Day Adventism. Yeah, Adventism, which sure, is sure, like sure. a subset of Christianity. We do not work on Sundays, basically. Yeah. yeah. We don't n go to church on Saturdays and, Literally you know, lay down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very, it's like a Jewish Baptist mix of wow. religion. And yeah. I have a lot of respect. My whole family is. Sure, sure. So sure. it hurts me to say like, you know, no, I'm no, not no. that, but oh, it's a matter of identity. So what do you mean by when you say atheist? How would you define that? If you um, I would say that I just don't see enough evidence for God existing. You're if very God does person. exist, I would love that. You would believe in him? I would... If God did I didn't say exist, worship. If, I said believe. Um, if there was enough evidence to believe in a God, would you believe in a God? Yeah, I mean, if there was enough evidence. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. With the evidence right now, I think we probably have a not the best God in the world. I mean, <laughs> I don't like... Uh, <laughs> If there is a God, I'm going to have some questions. I, I prefer to think of God, no, if there I, is one, no, as no. someone who's in, incompetent, but kind of like yeah, a yeah, nice yeah. guy. I can know? believe in an incompetent God. I, yeah. I can believe in a God that I have questions for, but I would believe in a God. Worship? No. Yeah. I don't think I'd worship anything on principle. Yeah. But I would say like, yeah, if you can convince me, if you can show me enough evidence, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. Yeah. I'm sure. I thought of a conspiracy theory. Yeah. Show the me a conspiracy okay. theory. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was really into... In like a religion class in high school, I I researched like the Church of Satan, okay, and yeah, yeah. like Antoine LaBay, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. guys like that, yeah, and <laughs> you know the whole music they're a funny thing. Bunch. They're a fun bunch. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I would like them a lot more now. When I was sure, seventeen, sure, I was really sure, interested, sure, but sure. I was like, this is you know devil worship. This is bad. Uh, but you know, just that that fairly standard one. You know, with the music playing it backwards, you can hear like. 666 or in like Hotel California oh, okay, 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 you know okay, okay. by the Eagles and were you ever into Aliens or anything like that like Aliens what, I mean I think they would be cool but so I Men in Black was part of my childhood was okay. all that stuff yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like this is a thing like this is totally a thing I remember when I got the memory eraser as a Burger King's kids toy I was like I have the thing <laughs> yeah, yeah. this is real who who says you can't just make one of these things yeah, yeah. it's just light we can figure this out so like when I so like I'm thinking like do, have we ever found aliens? Area 51. Yeah. Like, we're, I want to. I think they would be cool. We're yeah. banging shopping carts together. Next thing you know, like something happens. Oh, by the way, internet, computer, we can land on the moon. I was just like, where'd you get all this information from? We, we yeah, figured yeah. it out. We just figured it out. I'm like, how'd you figure that? Now I'm like, it makes sense that you could do it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But man, I was I mean, totally cool aliens yeah. so much. I read all the Anamorph books. I don't uh, know if you remember Anamorph. No, no. Uh, uh, but yeah, I did conspiracies, man. Okay. Yeah. I... I here is a dangerous place to love that stuff because it yeah. tends to get off rails really fast. Yeah, yeah. But 
cool. It can be really, da- yeah, it can be really dangerous. I mean, I think if you're rational and you think it's just kind of fun, it can be fine. Yeah. But I think when people really start to like the QAnon stuff, really, yeah, is disturbing to me. Mm. With that, you know, just from what I've seen of that, where you this idea of like a, I mean, deep state in some way, I can understand, but you know, I think. A lot of times people like to pin it on this like shadowy group of individuals yes, rather than easier. systems and exactly. in history. It's the history has created these about. conditions. You That's know? why when I hear things like the 9-11 yeah. truthers, it's like government did it. It's like, why would you think that? Yeah. Because for me, it's easier to think government did it yeah. than this complicated network of foreign yeah. relationships. Our foreign policy destabilized the done, Middle East they've done. and then yeah. leads to terrorists exactly. attacking us. Yeah. You know, playing a big role in deposing of like the Shah in the yeah yeah you know, in Iran, um, our Central American stuff. I mean, that's way too much to go into now. I think but. we like making partners and just like immediately attacking it. I hope that when we go into like topics like you know these conspiracies or like healthcare, we try not to make as many stereotypes on yeah. people as possible. Yeah, and yeah. Just always remember. Let's just try to keep this as open mind as possible. Yeah. We can all benefit from this, which should be the bottom line. That's what I'm trying to get better and at, functionally too. functionally work towards there. Yeah. Even if it'll be uncomfortable for some, yeah. we will generally all benefit. Even no. the people who like get stepped down a bit from this, you know, a change. Oh, definitely. Medicare for all, even rich people. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I, th- I definitely think so. You will get more money. We'll yeah. have more money to spend on you. Yeah. It's going to work out. Yeah. It's triple up economics. And as for, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I have to say, and as for the people who like, especially with like, they do it with college, but also Medicare for all, well, I don't want the government to be paying for this rich, you know, sure. a hole at the beginning, yeah, uh, you know, thing. I think that's just such a childish, petty view, yeah, because it's just like, okay, yeah, maybe it'll help, you know, if we had a subset of a hundred people, sure, and you know, one is rich, ninety-nine will benefit. Yeah. Let's not not do Medicare for all because one rich kid is yeah. going to benefit yeah. from it. That's just childish I'm to me. I'm not a fan of that outlier. Yeah. Strategy. Okay. Chris, yeah, cool. we're on the same page on a lot of stuff. I appreciate it. This was awesome. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate uh, feel it. Feel free to take a card. Uh, okay. yeah, we're I running out of a t-shirt from earlier. Look at you. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the video that we're doing right now will probably be posted on this guy. Okay. But I have a friend named Cordial Curiosity. He has that blue business card right there. Okay. I would recommend you take that because I like his channel a lot. Cool. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. This is awesome. Chris, was it tie or tie? Tie. Tie. Oh, cool. Did you say ties? I don't know. I heard like tie us when you said it, but I, I wasn't sure, and I'm really bad with names no, sometimes. No, that's fine. I have met a Thai before from Brazil. Okay. Uh, apparently, 